to see you. Let's say hello to all of our friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. And welcome to music today. And let's say hello to our families who might be joining us for music class today. To your second digital music class it's so good to see you let's take a look at what we have in store for today so we sang hello we're gonna do a little warm-up we're gonna do some captain go sidetrack your train we're gonna work on to stop the train and then i've got a fun little game for you today a little game listening game with do re mi so and la i've got another exciting video for our musician of the month and then we are going to sing goodbye my goals for you for today. During Captain Go Sidetrack Your Train, I want you to play a rhythm on a found sound. We'll talk about what that means when we get to it. And then today with uh, To Stop the Train, we're going to try our best to sing in a three-part round, but with only one Mr. Houchin and maybe one of you. So we'll try our best with that. And then I have a fun little game that has a listening game to identify patterns with Do, Re, Mi, So. And la. But let's go ahead and warm up just a little bit. Uh, what I like to do is a little game I call 4, 3, 2, 1. And it involves kind of shaking our bodies out ready to go. So can you pick up your favorite hand and can you shake it four times with me like this? 1, 2, 3, 4. Nice job. Do that with your other hand now. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4. Good work. Now do it with your foot. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4. And do it with your other foot. One, two, three, four. I guess you'll have to take your word or take my word that I'm shaking my feet because you can't see them. That's okay. Now, can you do all four of those in a row like this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Foot, two, three, four. Foot, two, three, four. Nice work. Now, can you do it with three shakes for each? So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three. How about two shakes for each? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then really quickly, one shake for each. One, 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 one. Now this is really fun to do if you're standing up. So if you have space to move around, you might want to stand up for this. We're going to go four, three, two, one shakes in a row without stopping. So we're going to start with four. Get your hands ready to shake four times. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Foot, two, three, four, foot, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, foot, two, three, foot, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 shake it all out. Nice job. Good work. Whew. Should feel a little warmed up after that. Do me braver, take it do me a favor, take a deep breath. And sigh. Ah. Just let all the tension out with that sigh. Just relax as much as possible. Do it again. <sighs> Just let all your worries away. And then finally, let's do one long breath in through our nose. As long as you can breathe in slowly and silently. And a long breath out through your mouth as long as you can breathe out slowly and silently. So like this. Ready? In. And out. Nice job, nice job. Uh, let's say we warm up with the warm up we did last week with our voice. 
And that is, Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Let me grab my melodica. Ready to go. So the first part of this warm-up is making sure we are speaking clearly. I don't want to hear you singing, Mommy made me mash my M&M's. I don't understand what you're saying. It sounds like a bunch of mumbling to me. So you want to be very clear with how you say it. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Say it just like that. Ready, go. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Nice work. And then, of course, we put it into our singing voice. So can you sing it with me nice and clearly? Ready? Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Not bad. After each time we sing, we're going to make it go a little higher. And you're going to help me with that today by singing the words, I cried because we're so sad we mashed our M&M's. I wanted to eat those, not mash them. So it'll sound like this. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. I cried. And then we'll do it again a little bit higher and a little bit higher. And a little bit higher until our voice is nice and warmed up. <clears throat> Let's try it together. Ready? Mommy made me mash my M&M's. I cried. 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 Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Whew, that's nice and high. Can you give me a nice big fall off your high voice? Ready? Oh! Nice. Good, good. Do it one more time. See if you can go even higher. Ready? Oh! And how about through some buzzy lips like this? Your turn. Nice work, nice work. All right. Ah, just dropping everything over here. Well, now that we're all warmed up, let's quickly review this song that we've been working on. It goes like this. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Number three in line, coming in on time. Captain, go sidetrack your train. And last time what we did is we took that song and combined it with a poem that we used to know back in first and second grade called Engine, Engine, Number Nine. That poem sort of went like this. Engine, engine, number nine. Going down the railway line. If the train goes off the track, will I get my money back? And if you remember from last time, we put in that poem during parts of the song. Whenever we had the long train, we added in that poem. All except the third line, if the train goes off the track. Because we just don't have room for it in this song. But that's okay. So I'm going to try to do both parts right now. I'm going to try to sing the song and do the poem. And then we'll split it up and we'll let each of us try one part. So it goes like this. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Engine number nine. Captain, go sidetrack your going down the railway line. Number three in line. Coming in on time. Captain, go sidetrack your train. I get my money back. Now you notice it's kind of hard for me to sing both parts. Because while I'm supposed to be singing train, that's when we're supposed to be saying engine, engine number nine. So I thought of a solution. What if instead of saying the poem engine, engine number nine, we played it on an instrument? Now you might be thinking, Mr. Houchin, I don't have any instruments at home that I can play it on. And that's where our found sounds are going to come in. A found sound. Well, a found sound is basically anything that you find at home that you can make a sound with. 
Now, I've used my oats can before to as a drum. And so how about I try it with this song? And instead of saying the Engine Engine number 9 poem, I'm going to play it on this drum. So it'll look like this. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Number three in line, coming in on time. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Just like that. Now, there's lots of different sounds you can find at home, so I encourage you to go do a little exploring. In fact, if you want to pause the video right now so you can go find one so you can play along, that's a good idea. Now, my oat can, what's cool about it is it can be used in different ways. So it's got some oats left in it, so I can use it as a shaker. So how does this song sound if instead of drumming, I shake it? Let's try it. Ready and uh, here we see Captain go sidetrack your train Captain go sidetrack your train Number three in line Coming in on time Captain go sidetrack your train Not bad. Now in the music room we've got lots of different instruments and one of the ones that we like to play sometimes is the triangle. It has that nice ringing metallic sound. Well, I don't have any triangles at home, but I did find this metal water bottle. And it kind of has a nice metal ringing sound, like that. So maybe when you're looking for instruments around the home, you might see if you could find something that sort of has like a metallic ringing sound like this. Now, of course, this is my water bottle. If it wasn't mine, I'd ask for permission to use it before I went and started treating it like a musical instrument. I've got a little pencil here I'm going to use as a mount. And let's hear what the song sounds like with my metal water bottle. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Number three in line, coming in on time. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Not bad, not bad at all. So I encourage you, look around your house. You might have some musical instruments that you didn't realize you actually had, like a water bottle or a can of oats. Keep an eye out, and maybe you'll find something that has a really cool sound. Not bad, not bad. Well, speaking of trains, last week, we learned a song called To Stop the Train. Mm -hmm. And it was a song that was written because somebody saw a sign on a train car and read the words and decided to turn it into a song. And the song goes like this. To stop the train In cases of emergency He pulled out the chain Pulled out the chain Penalty for improper use Five pounds. And we practiced singing it just a little bit last week. But let's remind ourselves how this one goes. <clears throat> Repeat after me. To stop the train in cases of emergency. To stop the train in cases of emergency. My turn. Pulled out the train. Pulled out the train. Pulled out the chain, pull down the chain. Penalty for improper use, five pounds. Penalty for improper use, five pounds. Not bad, not bad. Let's try the whole thing together. The words are at the bottom of the screen if you need them. And do your best to sing along with me. That pull down the chain part's a little tricky, but I think you can do it. To stop the train, in cases of emergency, he pulled out the chain, pulled out the chain. Penalty for improper use, five pounds. How about one more time? To stop the train, in cases of emergency, he pulled out the chain, pulled out the chain. Penalty for improper Not bad at all. Well, 
what I want to do with this song today is this song is actually around. Now, we know that around is a song that multiple people can sing at the same time, but start at different times. And this song is actually what we call a three-part round, which means there are three different times that you can start this song. So let's sing it one more time, and I want you to try and uh, do a little chop with my hands. I want you to chop your hands where we see these numbers. Above the word stop, I see the number one. Above the word pull, I see the number two. And above the word penalty, I see the word, or I see the number three. And I'm just going to do a little chop on each of those numbers right now so that we can get a feel for where we're supposed to start. Ready, here we go to stop the train in cases of emergency. He pulled out the chain, pulled out the chain. Penalty for improper use, five pounds. There we go. So let me explain how this works. The first person who sings starts at the beginning. Actually, everybody who sings starts at the beginning of the song. It's just when they start, that's the trick. So the first person sings, To stop the train in cases of emergency he pull. When they get to the word pull, the other person should be ready to go with stop. Now notice the word to is kind of sneaking before the word stop call that a little bit of a pickup word, a little pickup note. So we want to make sure that stop is aligned with pull. So if somebody is singing, pull down the chain, the other person singing to stop, and stop is going to line up right with the word pull. And then when that person gets to penalty for improper use, five pounds, the last person is going to sing to stop the train. So they're going to come in last. So you can have three people going. Now, if you're lucky enough to have three people at home who will sing with you, you could try to sing this all together. But I have a little something for you. I invited my friends Mr. Houchin and Mr. Houchin to help me sing. So we're going to do a, a version of the three-part round for you. And what I want you to do is pick one of the Mr. Houchins. There's a Mr. Houchin on this side. There's a Mr. Houchin on the middle. There's a Mr. Houchin on this side. And the one on this side, on our left, is going to go first. So if you want to sing first, you could sing with him. The one in the middle is going to go second. If you want to sing second, sing with him. And the one on the right is going to sing third. If you want to sing last, you can sing with him. All right? So I hope you're ready for three Mr. Houchins singing to stop the train in a three-part round. <laughs> How'd you do? Were you able to keep up? All right, that was your first shot. Here's one more shot. Pick a Mr. Houchin to sing with, maybe a different Mr. Houchin, and do the three-part round one more time. To stop the train in cases of emergency, 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 all right so there you have it 
So if you've got some people at home who will sing with you, try it out with them. See if you can sing it as a three-part round. All right, one more little bit for you today. Last week, we really worked on reading our Do, Re, Mi, Sol, La patterns on the staff. And what I have for you this week is a listening challenge. So if you look on the board here, you'll see that there are two patterns. There's one that is Do, that is letter A, and there's one that is letter B. Now, before we sing these right now, let's warm up our singing voice just to make sure we're in the right area. Uh, <laughs> Can you repeat after me? Can you sing do re mi re do? Do re mi re do. My turn. Do re mi so mi re do. Do re mi so mi re do. My turn. Do re mi so la so mi re do. Do re mi so la so mi re do. Very good, very good. So take a look at the patterns on the board, and I'm going to play one of the two patterns for you. I'm gonna play it for you three times, three times. And your job is to decide whether you're hearing pattern A or pattern B. And then keep track of your score and let me know how many that you get right. Hopefully you get them all right, but if not, we'll keep practicing. So here's our first pattern. <laughs> Was that pattern A or B? Listen again. Was that pattern A or B? One more time. The answer is that was pattern B. Now that is a tricky one. That is a tricky one because both of those shapes go up and down, but there was a little bit more of a skip and a jump with pattern B. All right, let's take a look at this one. Different pattern for pattern A, different pattern for pattern B. Think them in your head right now. See if you can maybe figure it out before you even hear it, which one it is. And here is your first listen. Listen number two. And your last listen. Alright, did you hear pattern A or pattern B? And the answer is pattern A. Pattern A that time. So if you guess pattern A, you got that one correct. Two more for us today. Interesting, these ones are very similar. See if you can notice the difference between the two. Take another listen. And one more time. Pattern A or pattern B? The answer for that one is pattern B. Pattern B. The difference was instead of pattern A having two me's in the middle, pattern B had a me then a ray in the middle. All right, that was three questions so far. Here's our fourth and final one. Our fourth and final one. Oh, this one should look a little familiar from the beginning. Should look a little familiar from the beginning. Pattern A or pattern B? Pattern A or pattern B again? And one more listen. This one was pattern B. Do, re, mi, re. Not bad, not bad at all. So, if you got four out of four correct, really good job. If you got three out of four correct, your ears are doing really well. If you didn't get three or four out of it correct, you can rewind it and do it again. And you might know the answers this time. But, I mean, that's just my tip for you. All right, so that leads us to our final bit of the day, and that is our Musician of the Month. And as we learned last time, our Musician of the Month is the group The Roots. And one of the things that I admire about The Roots is a lot of their music has a really strong groove. And it has a really good, strong beat to it, which is perfect 
for trying to keep a steady beat too. So I made a little video for you. And all I want you to do is keep the steady beat with the roots in different ways. On the screen, you'll see a little circle that flashes across that shows you the beat, as well as a picture for what kind of motion you should be doing to keeping the beat. It might tell you to clap your hands, might tell you to tap your head, might tell you to tap your ears. Your job is to keep a steady beat and follow what the motions are doing. This song is by The Roots. It's called Feel It, You Got It. And keep I'm not the same as any other artist or compare us. I'm the loudest, the clearest, the proudest, the nearest to a track record that's flawless. Minus the smoke and mirrors, I'm too careful to be careless. I'm out here close to fearless. How I made it, I played it safe until I elevated. Now that wave has been my saving grace, I'ma celebrate it. It's the long awaited opening ceremony for the greatest. Getting stronger daily focus, and the only way to say this, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. See at the table, then you want a menu to win. You gotta give it everything you got within you. If you crease and never fold it, you cold and I commend you. If you fabricated what you've been through, I can't defend you. It's survival of the fittest, arrival of the realest cup that never runneth over. It's too valuable to spill it. If you bout your business, I can show you how to go and get it. If you not committed, you just hold this L and know your limit. Ain't no overnight delivery. I'm a soldier positively. This ain't happened accidentally. Don't 99% me. I've been pushing permanently so no if you against me my tank has never been empty nobody had to convince me I'm a kid. Oh, oh, oh. some work this week next week there's not going to be a digital music class because it is april vacation but i'll be back in two weeks with another installment for you uh if you miss music class and you want more you're welcome to go back and watch all the other ones that we've done so far uh but i'll see you all in two weeks for now let's sing goodbye goodbye everyone goodbye